Hi everyone, this is Pasha. In this video, I'm going to show you how to correctly analyze the performance of your Google Ads campaign in Excel spreadsheets and pivot tables. Looking at the data in pivot tables will give you meaningful insights about your campaign and help you make better decisions on how to improve your campaigns. In order to get a report, uh, First, on the top menu of your Google Ads account, you need to select under report. If you already built some custom reports or, and save them, you will uh, have access to, the, to your previously saved reports here. Right now, we are going to build a report from scratch. We need to click on this button custom and table. You can create other types of uh, reports that you need, uh, but we are going to create a table report here. On the right section, you can add any metrics and dimensions that you want to include in your Excel report. For the purpose of this video, I am going to add uh, these dimensions. Uh, first, I'm going to look at the performance of keywords for my campaign. I type keyword. Uh, here, uh, I select search keywords. The other things, uh, the other dimensions that I need, uh, I, I want to look at the match type, the performance of uh, search keywords, match types. There are two options, search terms and search uh, keywords. I'm going to select search keyword match types. And you want to add it as a row, not as a column. I want my campaign names. I also want to look at the performance of my ad groups. I want to uh, look at the performance by day. So I add day as a row. Uh, we could also add months. Uh, these are the dimensions that I would like to include in my Excel table. Now for metrics that I want to see how each of these dimensions performed, uh, I'm going to add cost. Uh, as you see, metrics will go into the column section. I want to look at impressions, clicks, and if you have already created, you know, conversion actions for your campaigns, uh, you could include conversions too to see which keywords and which campaigns are resulting conversions. The other things that you could do, there is a filter section here. You could filter what kind of, uh, what data to include. For example, uh, for campaigns, I don't want to include the brand campaigns. So I filter uh, I make a, I create a filter to exclude campaigns that include the brand name. Here uh, on the date range, you want to select the date range of your data. Uh, I am going to select from the past two months, the beginning of March until yesterday, 16th of April. You could add any other uh, column that you need, any other metrics that you want, any other data that you want to look at. For example, if you want to uh, look at the search term performance, you could add a column for search terms and see which certain search terms are not related or which search terms are resulting in more conversions. So you can add them as a keyword. Uh, here, as a, in save, if you press save, you could uh, build, create a name for your report. I am going to create it, to name it keywords. You could save your report here. 
and so next time you don't have to create the campaign from scratch now i'm going to download this report in excel file excel or csv doesn't matter really the platform is preparing my report here all right uh, the report is downloaded i am opening the excel file here's the downloaded file The first thing that you want to do is just to remove the first two columns, the first, the first two rows. The first row is just the name of your report that you just created and the second row is the date range. Uh, in order to create a pivot table through this data, uh, you don't want to have this, the first two rows. So I select, I'm selecting them, uh, let me zoom it. Uh, I am selecting them and remove the first two rows. Now, these are my columns. As you see, I, the columns that I uh, selected in my report, uh, search keyboard, search keyboard match type, campaign name, ad group, day, months, uh, cost, impression, clicks, and conversion. For the currency, it's a default column that uh, Google Ads includes in your uh, reports and uh, it shows the currency of your Google Ads account it doesn't matter really we just let it be there uh, one thing that I want to do uh, you don't have to do this but because in my naming structure I have uh, a naming convention for my campaigns as you see some of my campaigns are in Canada, some of them are in, based on the UK, some of them are based in USA and Singapore. I uh, created, I, I have separated my campaign structure uh, based on country and also campaign groups uh, just to make things easier for myself to when I'm analyzing reports. So I am going to create this, uh, to separate this uh, sections of my naming as a separate columns so that I can easier I can filter my data easier as I said this is something that depends on your naming conventions the first thing that I do is just copy this campaign name into last column and using text to column feature I'm going to separate my data into uh, from the naming into a different columns I don't need this one maybe I, I could uh, add a name for uh, camp, a keyboard group as campaign group or keyboard group and location as I said uh, these two columns uh, these are something that I created using the campaign name column uh, because I want to filter my data easier but uh, in order to you know analyze the performance of your campaign you don't really need to do this it's, this is something just to make things simpler for myself now that I have my data ready prepared I'm going to create a pivot table out of them if you're not familiar with pivot tables I'm going to show you how to create a pivot table uh, you just uh, select uh, one of the cells in your data on the top menu uh, select insert and pivot table and just select ok here uh, excel uh, created a new, a new sheet in my file now I can start uh, building my pivot tables I am adding my search keywords here as a row adding cost impression all the metrics all the dimensions all the numbers you want to add them as a value and all the text columns uh, such as keyword campaign ad group you could add them as a row 
one thing that personally I would like to do, uh, let me zoom in my data. Uh, every, every time that I want to work with uh, pivot tables, uh, the first thing that I always do is just right click on my data, selecting pivot table options. Here on the format section for error values show blank. I, sel I, mm, you, I select the check mark. If I don't do this uh, just for errors, uh, the pivot table will show some uh, weird characters. I want to show my error for the errors. I just uh, want to show empty cells. And also I will uncheck this uh, button, autofill column reads on update. If it is selected, any change that you make to your rip to your table, Excel will uh, adjust the width of your columns and uh, it's really a headache. I don't like that, so I uncheck that and click OK. Now uh, I can uh, add some filters to my data, campaign, uh, location, and campaign group, and also add group, and also date, and months. In order to analyze the performance, you want to look at data such as click-through rate, conversion rate, or cost per acquisition. Uh, you could uh, add those uh, columns, for example, CTR and CVR conversion rate to uh, your report when you are creating, but for pivot tables, because they are calculated metrics, uh, for example, CTR is a cal calculated metrics based on cost and impression. For pivot tables, you don't want to add the cat. You don't want to add calculated fields, calculated metrics. Uh, it's better to create them through uh, pivot tables. So we are going to create new fields for CTR, uh, click-through rate, conversion rate, and cost per acquisition. In order to create a formula, formula field in pivot tables, you just need to click, to click on one of the cells in your table. On the top menu, select pivot table analyze. And this option, field, items, and sets, calculated fields. We are going to create a field for uh, click to rate and call it CTR. Uh, the first one is the name of the, your field. And here you need to define the formula to calculate this field. The formula for CTR is uh, uh, you always start with equal sign and the formula is the clicks divided into impressions and by adding uh, add and OK as you see CTR is added as a new column to my data to my table uh, but they are numbers at the moment uh, we want our CTR be a percentage uh, the diff uh, because uh, that's how you look at CTR uh, based on percentage, it's a percentage metric. In order to add them as a, uh, to uh, change them to percentage, you select the column and here on the home, uh, you select this button percentage. And here are my CTR data. The other columns that I would like to add are conversion rate. I'm going to call it CVR. The formula for conversion rate is conversions divided into clicks. Again, we want it to be a percentage. The reason that I am adding these columns is to compare the performance of keywords or campaigns. Uh, to see which keyword is uh, having higher conversion rate and which keyword uh, doesn't have a good conversion rate. 
The other things that I want to add, the other metrics that I want to add is uh, cost per click, for example, uh, CPC. We want to see uh, how much, uh, how expensive each keyword is. So if a keyword is not uh, profitable, so we could pause that. Uh, the column, the formula for CPC is cost divided into clicks. Uh, they are numbers by default. We want our CPC to be a, a currency column. So I add them, I uh, change the format to currency through here. And we want to add cost per acquisition, CPA, or if it is an e-commerce company, uh, you could look at a ROAS metric. Uh, this is not e-commerce campaign, so Mm, this is a lead campaign, so I am uh, creating I, uh, the main metrics that is important for me to see whether a campaign is performing well or not is CPA or cost per acquisition. CPA, uh, the formula is cost divided into conversions. The CPA will tell you uh, how much each conversion is costing you. For example, if uh, if your profitability uh, threshold is uh, $100 and a CPA for a campaign is $200, uh, you understand that that campaign is not profitable for you because uh, you are making $100 out of each uh, conversions but each uh, out of each lead but each conversions in Google Ads is costing you $200. Again the CPA uh, should be the dollars uh, format, the currency format. Now I'm going to, uh, to sort my data based on a spend because if a, a keyword hasn't spent that much uh, you don't really can get any, you cannot get really any meaningful insight from that. Uh, so you are going to look, you want to look at the data who have some significant spend. We are going to sort more our data based on cost. In order to do that on cost uh, column in the first, uh, yeah, in one of the cells, just right click, sort uh, from largest to smallest. Here, these data are giving me uh, some meaningful insights. As you see, the keyword ICF coach uh, has a spend a significant amount of uh, spend. Uh, our cost data should be dollars too. Let me change it to dollars. And this keyword is uh, spending $700. So it's an important keyword for me, uh, but it's having good uh, CTR, 12% uh, CTR, and also it's uh, ha having a desirable conversion rate, 1.40. And the CPA, the cost for each cam uh, conversion that I'm uh, getting is about $235. Or for example, I have this keyword, carrier coach. As you see, the CPA is very low, $89. So if you have, if uh, your bidding strategy is based on a manual CPC, uh, you could increase, you could slightly increase the CPC for carrier coaching, even though the CPC is already expensive compared to the other keywords. But it's very profitable. So you, you want to increase your CPC, your manual bid for this keyword slightly so that you can you have higher chance of uh, re appearing in search results and getting more conversions. Now, uh, one thing that I want to pay attention is uh, is my campaigns. Let's uh, take a look at our campaigns, uh, how each one is performing, comparing our campaigns. 
uh, I'm going to add instead of campaign I'm going to add keyboard group okay here I am getting I am seeing very very interesting data uh, my coaching campaign is having the lower CPA so this is the campaign that is performing the best for me so what I can do here is in maybe improve my budget maybe move over some of the budget from other campaigns to coaching campaign because this campaign which is based on the keywords related to coaching they are having the best performance for me I want to spend more on this campaign or on the other side I have three campaigns here outplacement talent retention and upskilling campaign they, their CPA is very high uh, outplacement campaign uh, it has only one conversion and nine hundred dollars CPA as you see the um, CTR even the CTR and conversion rate are lower for this campaign compared to coaching so uh, this campaign might not be very profitable for me and I could decide whether to continue this campaign or no completely pause that and focus on better uh, better performing campaigns what I can do let's sort my data based on CPA you, you want your CPA to be the lower uh, the lower the CPA the more profitable your campaign is outplacement is not really performing well I am highlighting that in red because I don't I, I, I don't like the performance of that uh, two campaigns coaching and competitors they are doing very well very well for this campaign uh, when looking at data you should always look uh, you should also look at the cost of your campaign for example for competitors it hasn't spent so much it has spent only about three hundred dollars so uh, when the spend is low it means that uh, the data is not, are not significant so you don't want to make decisions when the spend is very low uh, for a campaign who, uh, which has spent only $300, the results are not really significant. So I cannot really make sure whether this campaign is performing well or not. So I just keep continuing that. But for coaching campaign, it has spent a lot, more than $4,000. And the CPA is very low. So this is very important data. Another thing that we could do is uh, looking at the performance of ad group for each keyboard for each campaign. I am adding ad group uh, once again. In order that to do that, uh, I am adding ad group from filter or pivot table fields uh, here to the rows uh, below campaign group keyboard group. And again, here I'm going to sort the data based on uh, highest spending uh, ad groups click on the data sort large to a small these are my highest spending keywords uh, these four are performing well their CPA is even lower so what I can do is maybe improve uh, increase the beat for this for the keywords in these campaigns in these ad groups i can improve the increase the beat so that uh, they spend more or for example sometimes uh, let's look at other data uh, for example in upskilling and reskilling i have one ad group 30 60 90 days uh, which has the highest spend in this campaign group it has 400 dollars with no conversions even though the CTR is not bad it's really 8% the CTR is very good what this data is telling me is that my ads are good my uh, 
my ads are interesting to users users are interested to click on the ads but when uh, they land on the landing page on the on my website the content on my website is not interesting to users so when you have a high CTR and low conversion rate it means that uh, users are interested in your ad but your landing page is not good enough the content on your landing page is not good enough for the users to make them into a lead they just click on the ad, they land into your landing page, but they don't convert, they don't give, uh, give you, they don't submit a form, they don't purchase, so they have a low conversion rate. So that's uh, the kind of the insight that you could get from this kind of uh, data. Mm. Here, uh, in talent retention campaign i have one keyword that uh, one ad group that has spent very low 30 dollars uh, it had one conversion this is conversion row uh, let me filter uh, let me freeze my data freeze panes so that i i won't i won't lose the access to this uh, column titles we were looking at talent retention uh, as you see this uh, ad group is, has performed very low $30 and it has one conversion uh, it's actually the only ad group in this campaign that has a conversion but one thing that is important here the CPC the cost per click was very important very high for that uh, campaign as because we only had one key click you want to go and look at the search term reports to see what search term was that expensive and because this uh, ad group has spent very low we are not going to make any change right now but uh, in the long term if we see that the cpc stays very high we might want to pause it because a high cpc could result uh, in a high cpa the things that could uh, affect CPA is whether you have a low conversion rate or high CPC either of them could result in a high CPA or for example here outplacement we have this uh, ad group outplacement support the CPC is very 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 high $29 what I'm going to do is add another row here as keyword to look at the at the keywords for this ad group to see which keyword is spending most uh, I am adding search keyword here I was looking at outplacement campaign or something simpler just you could filter your data here uh, on row labor there is this filter button you want to select uh, your keyboard group only outplacement and you could also filter other data to add groups and search keyboards anything that is in the row section in your pivot ta table structure okay we had one campaign with a very high keyboard and that keyboard is this one outplacement support uh, which is uh, the only keyboard which has spent any money in this ad group it's very expensive really two clicks and the average CPA CPC for those two clicks are $29 uh, but again because this cost is not very high there are only two clicks with two clicks I cannot really make sure uh, whether the data is significant or not the data are not significant so I cannot really I don't really want to make a decision you always want to make decision based on higher higher spends here on outplacement services i have many keywords only two of them are getting volume are getting impression and uh, enough clicks and both of them are expensive and both of them are not resulting in any uh, conversion so instead of maybe pausing the whole campaign maybe it's better to pause uh, only these two, two keywords
I'm going to remove my filter from my pivot table. And if you remember, you know, I had separated my campaign structure based on location. So let's see how each location is performing. I am adding location into my pivot table. Okay. Sort based on spend. Uh, the thing that we, I see here is that UK is the second highest spending location campaign in my uh, campaigns and the CPA is the highest among all locations. So maybe uh, I don't want to run campaigns in UK or if I do, I want to lower the budget in UK locations because the CPA is very, very, very high, $600. On the other hand, US is performing the best, you know, it is performing uh, uh, very well, uh, lower, less than $200 CPA, uh, the highest spend, so I could um, increase the budget for the US. And again, in a similar way, I can add campaign to see how, how each uh, campaign is performing in each location uh, we see a similar trend in almost all locations in all locations the coaching campaign is spending more and has the lower has, has the best performance One interesting thing that, uh, what a useful thing that you could do in pivot table is uh, to copy your pivot tables into more pivot tables so you can look at the, your data easier. For example, let's say I want uh, this pivot table to be only for US. Here on the top, filters, I filter it based on US. So now I am just seeing the data for US, not other locations. Now I have, an, I want to have another pivot table and look at the data for another location, let's say UK. What I can do is just select this pivot table, just right click and not right, uh, you can right click, copy and here just paste. As you see, uh, you, uh, you can copy your data here. The good thing is that you already, create, you already uh, create, made all the adjustments and changes to the, your original pivot table. You created all these custom fields and uh, maybe the design of your pivot table. Now you, for the second pivot table, you don't need to do everything from the scratch you have access to uh, the, those custom fields again. Uh, I'm going just to change the filter from US to UK. The top, okay, let me uh, remove, uh, unfreeze the paint. Uh, the top column is, the top table is for US data, the bottom table is uh, the data for UK. You can do similar things for to add tables for Canada and Singapore. As you see, there are a lot of things that you can do with your pivot tables. You could look at the performance of your keywords, campaigns, locations, ad groups, and let's say uh, we want to look at the performance by uh, day. I can add the date uh, from filters to rows. Uh, you can see the performance by day and to see whether the performance is consistent or not. As you see the, uh, the cost for coaching campaign uh, in USA, coaching campaign, the cost was very low in the beginning of the campaign when we started running that. Uh, but after a while, after we saw the performance was good, it had uh, the highest number of conversions, we increased the budget. So on the 3rd of April, as you see, on the 3rd of April, 
the cost increased significantly. It was spending something around two, 20 to 30 dollars in average in the previous days, uh, 23 dollars in average. We increased the budget for this campaign. Now it's in, in spending something like average uh, 109 dollars a day. Uh, and in, therefore we are getting more conversions by higher spend. Similar thing for other campaigns, as you see, this campaign talent retention, it started with a very high budget. Uh, it was spending a lot, but after a while when we saw that uh, it wasn't performing well, we lowered the budget so that it spends less. So as you see, uh, looking at the data, uh, data and the reports in Excel and creating a pivot tables for your data gives you meaningful insights on how your campaigns or keywords are performing well. So you can make better decisions on how to change your campaign, how to make changes, how to adjust your campaigns to improve the performance. If you have any questions regarding pivot tables and analyzing the performance of your Google Ads campaign, feel free to ask in comment section and submit a question so that I can answer your questions. And thank you for watching this video.